You're not losing strength because you're aging. You're losing it because your body is starving for the right signal. This one food delivers that signal faster, harder, and more effectively than eggs ever could. Most people walk into their 60S thinking the biggest threat to their health is heart disease or cancer. They worry about cholesterol, blood pressure, maybe cognitive decline. But almost nobody talks about the slow creeping threat that's been robbing their strength, stability, and metabolic health day by day. That threat is sarcopenia, age muscle loss, and it's one of the most underestimated forces in the modern aging crisis. See, when you're 30, losing a pound of muscle doesn't feel like much. Your body compensates, you bounce back. But when you're 60 or 70, that same pound of muscle isn't just tissue, it's balance, it's strength, it's your ability to get up off the floor without help. And yet, the vast majority of people over 60 are walking around with far less muscle than they need, and they have no idea it's even happening. They blame it on aging, on genetics, on bad luck. They tell themselves, I'm just getting older, but aging and sarcopenia are not the same thing. One is inevitable, the other is optional if you understand the biology. The problem is this, most people over 60 aren't getting anywhere near the amount or the quality of protein they need to stop or reverse this decline. They eat the way they always have, not realizing their muscle protein synthesis machinery is running on lower gears now. Your body doesn't respond to protein at 65 the same way it did at 25. You need more. You need it more often. And you need it from better sources. This isn't just about vanity or looking fit. It's about your mitochondria, your insulin sensitivity, your ability to avoid falls and fractures, your ability to recover from surgery, and even your ability to maintain cognitive function. Muscle is a metabolic currency. The more of it you have, the more protected you are from the degenerative forces of aging. It's your reserve tank for glucose control. It's your power source for mobility. It's your backup during illness. And when it begins to vanish, as it does silently, year after year after 50, it takes your independence with it. What makes sarcopenia especially dangerous is how quietly it unfolds. There's no headline moment. No chest pain, no dramatic collapse, just slow, subtle erosion. You notice you're not walking quite as fast. You can't carry the groceries with the same ease. You stop taking the stairs. Then one day, getting off the toilet becomes an effort. This is how it begins. And the medical system isn't built to detect it early. There's no standard screening, no routine blood test that says, hey, you're losing strength faster than normal. It just gets chalked up to aging until one fall, one fracture, one surgery, and suddenly you're in a hospital bed with doctors saying you just need rehab. But there's no reserve left to rehabilitate. Here's the hard truth. If you're not actively building or at least preserving muscle after 60, you're losing it. Period. It's not a passive process. Sarcopenia doesn't pause because you're busy or because you're eating healthy, it doesn't care about your salad or your multivitamin. It cares whether you're feeding your body the right kind of protein in the right dose and whether you're signaling your muscle to grow through resistance, through intensity, through challenge. And this is where most people go wrong. They think they're fine because they're walking every day or eating chicken once in a while. That's not going to cut it anymore. You need to approach muscle like a medical priority, because it is, not just to avoid wheelchairs and nursing homes, but to extend the health span of your entire system. Sarcopenia is the gateway to frailty, and frailty is the precursor to every poor outcome you're trying to avoid as you age. If your body can't support you, your mind, your immune system, your organs, all of them suffer. Now, here's what should stop you cold. Studies show that many older adults consume less than 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. That's the bare minimum to prevent deficiency, not to optimize function. To preserve or build muscle, especially in the face of anabolic resistance, you need more. And not all proteins are created equal. You need complete proteins with a high leucine content and rapid digestibility to trigger the right anabolic response. You need precision, not just effort. The good news is it's not too late. Muscle responds at any age if given the right inputs. Even people in their 70s and 80s have shown remarkable gains in strength, mobility, and metabolic health when sarcopenia is addressed directly and aggressively. But it starts by waking up to the danger and refusing to accept this slow decline as normal. Because the reality is you don't lose muscle 
because you're aging. You lose muscle because you're underfeeding it, under training it and misunderstanding its role in your longevity strategy. Fix that and everything else begins to shift. Eggs have held the crown in the protein world for decades and for good reason. They're a complete protein source loaded with all nine essential amino acids, highly bioavailable, inexpensive, and easy to prepare. For years, nutritionists and physicians have pointed to the egg as the gold standard against which other proteins are measured. But here's the hard truth. While eggs are good, they're no longer good enough, especially if you're over 60 and trying to preserve muscle mass in the face of advancing age and anabolic resistance. The nutritional landscape has evolved. We know more now. We've mapped how the body responds to different protein sources, how it prioritizes certain amino acids over others, how the speed of digestion and absorption plays a critical role in triggering muscle protein synthesis. And when you dig into that science, you start to see the cracks in the eggs are enough story. They're not. Not anymore. Not if your goal is to fight sarcopenia fast and reclaim the muscle you're losing every single year. Let's get specific. A single large egg has about six grams of protein. Now to trigger a robust anabolic response, especially in someone over 60, you need a leucine threshold in the ballpark of 2.5 to 3 grams per meal. That's not total protein. That's leucine, the amino acid that flips the switch on muscle protein synthesis. You'd need to eat around four to five eggs in one sitting just to hit that threshold. And that's assuming perfect digestion and no absorption issues which frankly are not guaranteed in older adults with declining gut function. So while eggs can certainly contribute to your protein intake, relying on them as your primary weapon against muscle loss is like bringing a pocket knife to a gunfight. And we haven't even talked about volume yet. Let's be real. How many people over 60 are sitting down and eating half a dozen eggs every morning? Not many. Appetite drops with age. Satiety kicks in faster. Digestive capacity shifts. So what happens? You think you're doing the right thing. Maybe you eat one or two eggs with toast and you walk away feeling like you've just had your protein, but you haven't come anywhere close to the dosage required to actually stimulate muscle growth. You've fed your hunger, not your muscle. Now contrast that with a food source that has more protein per gram than eggs, more leucine per serving, and a faster digestion rate. Something that hits your bloodstream faster, harder, and with more targeted effect. This is where superior protein options start to emerge. Certain lean meats, high quality whey protein isolates, and specific fermented dairy proteins not only outpace eggs in total protein content, they outperform in the metrics that actually matter, like net protein utilization and muscle retention over time. But this isn't just about numbers. This is about the aging physiology. As you get older, your body becomes less efficient at turning dietary protein into muscle. That's anabolic resistance. And the only way to overcome it is to flood the system with a strong enough signal, enough high quality amino acids in a short enough window with a high enough concentration of leucine to get that muscle building machinery to respond. That's the game. And in that game, eggs don't win. People like to romanticize certain foods. I eat eggs every day, so I'm getting my protein. It feels good to say, it feels clean, whole, natural. But what matters isn't what feels good, it's what works. And when you're in a race against muscle loss, the margin for error gets very small. You don't have time to be sentimental about what used to work. You need to focus on what works now for the body you actually have, not the one you remember from 30 years ago. That means shifting away from convenience-based choices and towards strategy-based decisions. It means understanding that a food can be healthy and still insufficient. Eggs aren't bad, but they're not the protein king anymore. They're a supporting actor in a play that now demands a stronger lead. And when the goal is to preserve muscle, extend mobility, and fight off the metabolic collapse that comes with sarcopenia, you can't afford to let nostalgia guide your nutrition Protein quality matters more than ever, bioavailability matters, leucine content matters, and efficiency matters because time is not on your side and every meal is either feeding your strength or feeding your decline. Choose the protein that gives your body what it truly needs to keep building, repairing, and thriving because good enough just isn't good enough anymore.
If we're serious about stopping sarcopenia, if we're not just paying lip service to the idea of staying strong after 60, then we need to talk about the food that actually moves the needle. We've covered why eggs aren't enough, now let's focus on what is. Because there is one food that outpaces eggs in protein density, exceeds them in leucine content, and absorbs faster, making it far more effective at triggering the muscle building response that older adults so desperately need. Talking about whey protein isolate, specifically high quality, cold processed, low lactose whey isolate. And before you tune out thinking this is just a bodybuilder's supplement, think again. This isn't about aesthetics, this is about biology. Whey isolate isn't a gimmick, it's a precision tool for muscle preservation. It contains more protein per gram than eggs, digests significantly faster, and delivers a stronger anabolic punch at lower volumes, which is critical for people who struggle with appetite or satiety issues later in life. Let's talk numbers. A scoop of whey isolate, around 30 grams, can give you 25 to 27 grams of pure, highly bioavailable protein with over 2.5 grams of leucine in a single shot. That's not a casual snack. That's a full anabolic dose, enough to wake up your muscle protein synthesis machinery and say, build now. You'd need to eat about four or five eggs to get that same effect, and that assumes perfect digestion and no competing factors. Whey isolate bypasses much of that. It's already in a near ready form for absorption, which is what makes it a game changer, especially in the morning when your body is most catabolic or post-workout when your cells are primed for recovery. Now, what makes this especially relevant after 60 is the growing challenge of anabolic resistance. You can't just eat protein anymore. You have to hit a threshold and you have to hit it often. The older you get, the less efficient your body becomes at translating food into function. You need more signal to get the same effect. Whey isolate provides that signal better than nearly any other food source on earth. It delivers amino acids rapidly into the bloodstream, spikes leucine, triggers mTOR, and flips the switch that tells your body to start synthesizing new muscle protein. That's the goal, and most foods just don't do that effectively anymore. There's another angle here too, digestive efficiency. A lot of older adults start experiencing difficulty digesting whole foods, they feel bloated, they feel full too quickly, they can't tolerate large amounts of meat or heavy meals like they used to. So even if the intention is there, the execution fails. They simply can't get enough protein in consistently without some kind of support. Whey isolate solves that. It's light, it's fast, it's easy to consume even when you're not hungry. And that convenience is more than a perk. It's a survival mechanism for maintaining muscle in a body that's trying to break it down. <laughs> and let's be clear. This isn't a replacement for all food. It's not about living off powders or skipping real meals. It's about plugging the gaps that whole food diets can't fill anymore. It's about ensuring that at least once or twice a day, your body gets what it needs to repair and grow. One scoop in water or almond milk, maybe blended with some berries or Greek yogurt, simple, fast, efficient, effective. And when you make it a habit, the results are undeniable. Strength comes back, recovery improves, fatigue fades, you stand taller, move faster, think sharper, and it's not magic. <laughs> it's not hype. It's the result of giving your body exactly what it needs at the right time, in the right dose, from the right source. People think muscle loss is inevitable after 60. It's not. It's only inevitable if you ignore what your body is asking for. Whey isolate isn't hypey. It's an answer. An answer to sarcopenia, to weakness, to the slow erosion of independence that comes when you underfeed your physiology. And the best part, it's accessible, it's scalable, and it works. Because when your muscles are fading and time is against you, you don't need average. You need precision. When we talk about fighting sarcopenia, most people think it's just about eating more protein and lifting weights. And yes, those are non-negotiables. But the real story, the deeper layer starts at the cellular level. Muscle doesn't just disappear because you're getting older. It disappears because your cellular signaling pathways get weaker and your mitochondria, the engines inside your muscle cells, start shutting down. So if you want to fight sarcopenia at the root, you don't just need more protein, you need the right kind of protein that communicates directly with your biology down to the molecular switches that determine whether you're building or breaking down. 
this is where whey protein isolate has a real edge. And it's not just about the macros. What makes it powerful is how it interacts with your internal operating system. When you consume a high leucine protein like whey isolate, it does more than just deliver amino acids. It activates a critical growth pathway called mTOR, mammalian target of rapamycin. mTOR is essentially the command center for muscle growth. It decides whether your body goes into a building mode or stays in maintenance or worse, break down. And as you age, your mTOR sensitivity drops. That's why people over 60 can eat what looks like a high protein meal and still see no muscle growth. The signal just isn't strong enough to overcome the resistance. Whey isolate flips that switch decisively. The rapid spike in amino acid levels, especially leucine, creates a powerful anabolic trigger. It tells your body now is the time to build. And if you do that consistently with the right frequency and dosage, you start to see real shifts, not just in how much muscle you have, but in how your body functions overall. Because muscle isn't just about movement. It's a metabolic organ. It plays a role in glucose regulation, hormone balance, and systemic inflammation. Maintaining it improves everything from insulin sensitivity to immune resilience, but it goes even deeper. Your mitochondria, the power plants of your cells, are central to all of this. As they degrade with age, everything from energy production to muscle contraction suffers. You get tired faster, recovery slows, performance tanks. And here's where most people give up, thinking, well, I'm just old now. But what if you could reignite those mitochondria? What if there was a way to not just stop the decline, but actually reverse some of it? Turns out, whey isolate plays a role here, too. It's not just about the amino acids. It's about the downstream effects. Consuming high-quality, rapidly absorbed protein has been shown to support mitochondrial biogenesis, the creation of new mitochondria, and enhance the function of the ones you already have. It does this by activating key pathways like PGC1A, a master regulator of mitochondrial health. You give your cells the signal to get more efficient, to burn energy cleaner, to generate more ATP. The result? More power at the muscular level more endurance, better recovery, and more resistance to the kind of oxidative stress that accelerates aging. This is the difference between eating to survive and eating to perform. You can't afford to feed your body in a way that simply maintains. Maintenance is a slow decline. When you're past 60, you have to feed in a way that stimulates regeneration. That means more than just getting in your grams of protein, it means targeting the pathways that rebuild and renew from the inside out. And that's why whey isolate matters, because it's not just a convenient source of protein, it's a biochemical tool, a way to send targeted messages to your body. Grow stronger, recover faster, fight decline. It's working upstream, not just at the level of tissue, but at the control centers of metabolism and cellular vitality. People often ask, what's the one change I can make to start turning things around? This is one of them. Get this right, and everything else starts aligning. Your workouts get more productive. Your energy improves. You bounce back from stress with less drag. You don't just feel younger. You start functioning like someone with a younger biological signature. And that's not fantasy. That's physiology. It's what happens when you feed your cells with what they're really asking for. If the goal is not just to live long, but to live strong, then you have to go beyond surface solutions. You have to speak the language your cells still understand. And way isolate, that's the language.